Hi everybody, Rally here again. Um, today we'll be looking at uh, how do you condition your fish for breeding uh, for having young ones, right? We'll be looking at the whole idea of separation, we'll be looking at the whole idea of um, how do you know that your fish is pregnant or have eggs and all that. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica Rally here. Um, I have not gone so sophisticated as yet, so you may see some glitches or some errors that needs to be improved. However, today I'll just focus on an um, uh, interesting topic where I look at the whole idea of conditioning for breeding. Now, let's say that you want to breed your fish. You want, let it say, your empire tetra, uh, uh, tiger bob black skirt stature um, um, the best thing to, for you to do is to condition your fish when I say condition I mean like put your fish separate your male and your female right I ha I am currently conditioning um, two sets of fish one is my black skirt stature you will see um, this is a female here she is looking really fat right and the other fish in the background are four blue empire tetra right now the male empire tetra is over on this side right um it sorry the female empire tetra is over on this side i had two but um one that i do not know why right um my other fish are going okay they are okay i have one neon tetra in there i need to get about five more in which i'll do shortly by the way this is um sunday and it is it's cleaning day so therefore um the tanks are a little bit messy because i'm doing this video before i actually do the cleaning process so um this is the female emperor tetra right and what i'll do i will um separate the male and the female for about a week or two and then after doing all of that then now i will actually then after that now i will put them in a breeding box in which um i i actually made and posted on youtube a few weeks ago if not months um so i use this i actually placed the the blue empire tetra in it along with my um along with my black skirt stature right so they will be placed in it it will be placed in the tank right and they will do what they need to do in there and the eggs will actually come through the mesh and i will take them out along with this and the egg will remain in the container right so when breeding when planning to breed your fish whether it be um guppy molly sword tail um whatever fish it is it's good when you can condition your tank as i said before today is a cleaning day so my tanks are a little bit messy they'll be taken care of in a bit now when i first bought my pon panda barbs i was unable to identify the male and the female because of the hormone in which the breeder in which i um but um sold them to the pet shop um fed them the purpose of is of putting hormone with the food was to prevent other persons from breeding them but i can see where in which the hormones are actually um what i call it now wearing off and i can actually identify the male and the female panda barbs now the panda barbs looks a little bit striped like the like the um the tiger barbs but they are somewhat different they are long right um the panda barbs is you will see on your screen right now as a still shot the panda barbs um the the males are much bigger 
than the females and um over time I expect I, I, I expect to get at least a couple of fries from these fish. Now um I will actually try to breed them also using the box because as with barbs right um they will leave eggs and they will consume their eggs. So um it is in this batch that I actually have the male black skirt tetra. He's swimming up and down having no care of this world you have some female tetras in it but I choose to actually purchase a, a new female to put with with um with that black skirt tetra so as not to have a botched botched um a botched or whatever you call it a uh, set of fries I do not want my fish stock to be related uh, for example um, let's say that I have a, I have some goldfish, right? And the goldfish uh, number is 500. Now, um, I will more than likely sell some of those goldfish, but I will keep back some. So I keep back 10. Now, when I keep those 10 goldfish, I will not want those 10 goldfish to interbreed because I will have a lot of Watched fries. I would have a lot of handicaps because they are from the same batch, batch of fish, right? So I will eventually um, have to either separate them and um, purchase a new female or purchase a male, put them together so that I can get another set of fries, right? Um, it, it, some persons will just breed them, interbreed them, interbreed them, but after a while, the quality of fish will not stand out right they are swimming up and down up and down the tank because they see me down there thinking that I'm gonna feed them and it, I usually feed them at this end of the tank so they are there swimming um, coincidentally all these fish are uh, barbs we have black skirt tetra right? it's a part of the barb family tiger barb um, panda barb and tin uh, but no, um, redfin, 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 tetra, redfin, bar. I don't remember. I will have to check back again. Right, but all of these fish are related somewhat, having the same, some of the, the same characteristics. Um, so I am, I am currently conditioning my fish stock to be bred. Now I have seen where in which my glass fish actually. Um, I, so I should have a few males and a few females I realize that my glowfish um, I have two one female two female glowfish and one male right I will actually be breeding those also I have a couple efflux barb also that's those fish with a little black thing on the, on the fin I, um, one is pregnant I am not sure if I should put that one as the as a female right, that's coming up right the screen right, and, and the male is the smaller one right and then you have the glass fish uh, that's the glass fish they are looking right at me right um, I'm gonna be breeding those also but to breed them what I would need to do I would need to condition them just like how I'm conditioning this um, black skirt teacher look at how she's fat now she did lay some eggs the other day they, 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 they just um i don't know if i placed them let them go, let them go into the late but all them got white so therefore um i had to dispose of them so i'm gonna be trying again to get some more i did get some um not from her but um earlier on in my um uh, fish keeping hobby I did cut about probably about uh, 20 something right and out of that uh, um, I ha ended up with about 11 and my carelessness I ended up um, killing about 5 so therefore I only have about 6 and a half but um, I'm, going, I'm getting there I'm getting there um, as a fish keeper I, um, I don't consider myself as a novice but um, I'm getting there in the sense that I will master this thing we call fish keeping. And by the way, this is my quarantine tank, and 
my breeding tank together so after a while when these fish tank really kind of grow i will actually place them in the ponds outside thank you for making the fish keep in jamaica bye bye